But what's up everyone, welcome back to another video. Now in this video, just like the previous video, I'm gonna be going over the fastest moving Forex pairs or trading pairs that you could actually trade in the market. Now, disclaimer, this video is catered more towards the more experienced traders or I, I don't wanna say it, but maybe the people that just got started into trading and that want that fast paced action that, hey, I gotta execute these orders now, hey, I gotta get out of this trade right now, so on and so forth. Now, the first pair, I'm gonna break it into two different sessions. I'm gonna break it into two of the fastest moving pairs in the London session, as well as the New York session. I can't speak on other sessions just because I personally don't trade them and I don't really wanna give recommendations off of things that I don't personally do or have experience doing because then that's all fluff. I, I mean, it's all theoretical. I don't really know what I'd be talking about at that point. Now, starting with the London session. My favorite pair to trade in the London session, as well as it's one of the fastest moving pairs, is GJ. Now, GJ, dude, I hate to say it, GJ's a bitch, man. GJ could either be that, you know, that girl you've always wanted <laughs> or that pain in the ass toxic girl that you had to deal with throughout the years. Now, GJ, the way that pair moves, it's very sporadically. Now, it does like to stick into a very large range, which where a lot of beginner traders struggle to trade just because they don't have the patience on waiting for GJ to get to either end of the spectrum. A lot of people <clears throat> take a lot of losses in GJ trading the in-between zones, which is just pure consolidation. It's kind of a, 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 toying, a coin toss whether GJ is gonna go back up to the support area or resistance area, so on and so forth. And the best way to trade that is just be patient and stick to your TA and make sure that every time you enter that trade, your risk reward ratio makes sense. Make sure it's not just a one to one or a one to two because GG is gonna bite you in the ass. It might wick you and then you kind of did that for no reason at all, right? Now it's way better to risk it for a one to three or a one to five, so on and so forth, which you could 100% do with GG, by the way. That's the beautiful thing about these fast moving pairs that in one day you can catch these four or 5% moves very easily as long as you get in at the right time and you exit at the right time. A lot of people like talking about the entry, but nobody ever wants to talk about the exit. Your exit is everything. Your exit's what's gonna keep your profit. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm still dealing with the fucking cold. Um, second pair I'm gonna recommend for the London session is gonna be GU, GBP USD. And I don't trade this pair a ton, but I do look at it every now and then because I do like seeing the way the pound is moving against the dollar. And it just gives me a lot of confidence whenever I'm going into um, reversals when, for US 30 and gold, which I'll touch on. Now, GU is gonna move a lot because it's in the two sessions that are the busiest. And it's also gonna be during that little merger session where it's, you know, London and New York are active. And that's gonna be the best time to trade it because that's when you have a lot of New York, a lot of New York traders and a lot of London traders trading at the same time. That's just gonna be the most volume in the market. Same thing with GJ. <clears throat> Another thing I didn't touch on was every single pair I'm talking about, whenever there's a red folder event on Forex Factory or a big news event, it's best to stay out of these pairs just for at least an hour or two. Let the news settle, right? React to the market, don't predict. Whenever you're predicting, you're gonna be wrong about 50% of the time. You wanna to stick to the reaction rather than the prediction. That's just something that's gonna help you guys and save you guys a ton of money. Now, <clears throat> with all these very volatile pairs, these news events are very, very volatile. Like we're talking about that one to five move might happen in five, 10 minutes off of just one candle, just because that's how fast it moves. A lot of volume in the market. There's a lot of different orders that are being filled. And a lot, sadly, a lot of new traders are trying to trade this. And the way the order blocks work is that, you know, when you have a certain amount of orders at a certain point, a lot of institutional investors have this data. So they're like, you know what? We're going to pump the price up here, then sell up top because we know that's where all the orders are at. And that's where we're going to fill them and collect that easy money. Now you have to understand that even a small move when you're dealing with millions and billions of dollars is a lot of money for them. So for them, it's very easy for them to liquidate you out and make that money. If you guys do want another video on the breakdown of how liquidation work, how order sizes work and all that, it's a bit more complex, but I'm down to make a video for you guys if you guys are interested in that kind of stuff. Now, transitioning over to the New York session. Uh, my favorite, <clears throat> New York, I personally only trade US 30 and XAU USD. The first one's an NC. US 30 is the top 30 performing stocks in the New York Stock Exchange. XAUSD is just gold. That's that's about it. It's gold with the dollar. So usually a lot of people, their minimalistic comprehension is that gold is a hedge against inflation. Yeah, yes and no. You do have a lot of different things now that are in the way of that. You have crypto, you have other asset classes 
that do have a little bit more worth nowadays. So gold isn't that huge hedge against inflation anymore, but it's still very significant and it's not easy to trade, but it's one of my favorite, favorite, favorite things to trade just because <laughs> I personally can get a really good read on it. And it's also one of those other very volatile pairs that you have to be patient with and know how to trade properly. Properly, keyword properly. If you don't trade this properly, you're gonna hate it. It's like you're always losing. It doesn't matter which way you go, just because gold, the same way as GJ, GU, and US 30, there's a lot of fake outs. And that's what makes this pair very tricky to trade. Every single pair I'm mentioning is hard to trade, right? On the skill level, I'd, I'd rather have you be an intermediate trader already, someone that has seen profit and success in trading before wanting to trade these pairs. But again, if you are someone new to trading and you just wanna learn all that hard stuff first, and you wanna get disciplined a lot, and you're gonna be able to make sure that you stick to a demo account longer than normal, just because it takes a lot of time to build up the skill set to trade these pairs. Now that's fine, you can do that, and hey, dude, hell yeah, if you get that done, amazing. You're like the 1% of the 1% right. <clears throat> but with that said, those are my two favorite pairs to trade on the New York session, as well as now you, could, you guys can probably tell, hey, you have London, New York, you could trade all of them at the same time if you really wanted to. Uh, yes and no, you don't want to be overexposed or over leveraged on your accounts. You have to understand I just named four different pairs or four different trading uh, classes that you can do. Now, if you risk 1% on each of those things, that's 4% that you're going to have exposed to the market. A lot of these um, pairs tend to move in unison sometimes, or not sometimes, about 80% of the time, gold and US 30 move in unison. Not all the time. Like I said, there's a 20% buffer that they don't move. In unison, they move in whichever direction they want, but you have to take that into account that you're almost doubling down on each trade that you're doing on either or, <clears throat> right? Because if you're in US 30 and you're in on gold for a buy on both ends, um, then you're, you're essentially risking double just because if it doesn't go in the right direction on US 30 or gold and they move in unison, then right there you're down <laughs> both trades. Now, you could also take buy and sell on them you kind of hedge your own trades if you really wanted to. Uh, that's a whole separate other topic, another video for another time. But nonetheless, these are my these are my favorite most volatile pairs that I trade. Again, this is all personal opinion. This is not like there's no actual statistic that I could use or data set because I don't I, I just didn't do my research on that end. This is just my personal experience and my personal opinion on these pairs. Regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and got a lot of data, a lot of data, a lot of knowledge from this video. But check the link in the description for all the free content stuff that I do have posted down there. Uh, like I say in every video, if you guys do have any questions, leave a comment down below. And if you guys want to reach out and just, I don't know, talk to me about whatever random thing, trading related or business related, you guys can. I still have that Telegram link down there for you guys to personally reach me anytime you guys have any questions. Hey guys, sorry for interrupting your video, but I just wanted to let you guys know if you guys check the link in the description, I do have a private little link right there for you guys to have direct access to me through Telegram. It's not a bot, it's not some computerized assistant or anything. It's my personal Telegram link to where you can send me messages on any questions you guys have or other topics you guys wanna talk about and I'll be more than happy to respond to you guys. I'll try to respond to as many as you as possible. If I don't respond at the same time, just give me a couple minutes or an hour and I'll get to you accordingly. Now, also in the link in the description, I do have all the free Telegram, the Signals chat. I do have the website where I offer all the services and I also have a direct link to the free Forex and stock market coursework as well as crypto coursework.